they can't find get get that fat up where up on the Sandias Mountains, get that fat built up. They'll try to come down here, and if like I say again, if if people are leaving their garbage out and stuff like that, it's a lot easier for them to make a living in town than it is up on the mountain sometimes. So. This bear has now been relocated to the southern Lanzano Mountains, quite a distance away. We'll see yeah. if he comes back. It seems they're all relocated there. There and Grant, you know, outside yeah, yeah, Mount Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they all get together and like, hey, they got you? We know the way. <laughs> ah, me too. Just follow the freeway. I was hopping fences, backyards, trying to chat out some trash. All right, here's a look at what's going on across the Sacramento Mountains, where we have had a nice day as far as the sky goes. Kind of cool, nice looking cumulus clouds, and then eventually looked like we could grab a shower or two, but it never really materialized in many areas of the state, including Cloudcroft. Meanwhile, from 10,000 feet, Sandia Peak, relatively quiet here as well. Clouds sliding on by. We started to see those cumulus clouds bubble up a little bit, but it hasn't amounted to much. And tomorrow will be a more interesting day weather-wise because we're going to have better access to moisture than we have so far today. As far as storms go right now, Catron County picking up a couple showers across the northern mountains. We've had a few storms now starting to dissipate and over the Sacramento Mountains as well. A few showers trying to get going there, but not a lot of success outside Carrizozo. We had a few sprinkles too. Here in the metro, big sign that we don't have much moisture going here. 95 degrees. Winds are variable at 5 miles an hour. Should not be this warm this time of year. About 7 degrees above average. Not what we like to see across the north. 80s and 90s right now. Triple digit heat too can carry across the south. Carlsbad, we've now clipped 198 in Roswell, 97. Alamogordo and Las Cruces and Deming, another hot day there, 99 degrees. As far as the overall pattern goes, high pressure is going to set back up over the four corners here. So that is going to really not allow for a tremendous amount of storm coverage for the next couple of days, but it will be better than it has been the past couple of days. So we will see improvement tomorrow as we start to see a little more of a southeasterly flow of air bend back into New Mexico right up against or underneath this high. We also have a little cold front that's going to try to get its way into the northeast as well. The overall takeaway from this, storms northeast to southwest across the state, edging the metro area as well. So today, where we had isolated storms across the state or maybe spot storms, tomorrow we go to scattered storms, which is better coverage around 30 to maybe even 40 percent chance of showers, central northeastern sections and maybe even down toward the south and west. Some of the focus areas to watch for throughout the day tomorrow, well, a couple different places to watch here. We will see the four corners, especially north of Durango I have a chance at some showers here in the metro back toward the East Mountains. Even the Northeast, some scattered showers will definitely be possible and down into the Southwest and throughout the day on Thursday. We'll also see that chance of showers continuing across the state. So you can see the coverage looks better than today, but it's nothing necessarily to write home about as far as a difference making couple of days. But as we've learned over the burn scar areas, it doesn't take much to cause trouble. 80s and 90s across the four corners, scattered storms tomorrow, extended forecast, good chance at at least scattered showers north of Durango and in Farmington. Thursday and Friday, better chances at showers across the south and west. Temperatures here for the most part, 80s, 90s, even triple digits, scattered showers tomorrow. Then we see things back off a little bit Thursday into Friday, more isolated storms with temperatures in the high 80s. Over to the southeast, plenty of sunshine early, an isolated shower possible late in the day. Nothing to get too excited about. Unfortunately, that chance only sits at about 10% around Roswell. A little better shot into next week. Meanwhile, Northeastern sections as that front tries to nose its way in. Scattered storms for tomorrow. 80 and more, 85 Las Vegas, 98 and Tucum Carry. Better chances of showers over the next three days versus the past couple around Las Vegas. Well, we've had some storms in the Las Vegas area the past few, so I think tomorrow could be another good one. 84 in Los Alamos, 91 in Española, 83 in Chama, partly cloudy. Afternoon mountain thunderstorms and in Santa Fe, scattered showers will continue to be a factor through at least Friday, maybe into Saturday. Down into the East Mountains, temperatures here, mid 80s, high 80s, depending on where you go. Moriarty at 87 for tomorrow. And here in the metro, chance of showers goes from about 10% to about 30%. So it is getting better for us. Again, I don't want to give you the impression that the next couple days will be washouts. It probably won't be, but at least we've got a better shot at getting a few showers here and temperatures going to come down a little bit. 96 today, inappropriately high, quite frankly. All right. Thanks, Mark. Sports is next.